hello and welcome to this excel video tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to create searchable drop down in excel for the web this new feature debuts late 2021 as we all know you can actually create these on the desktop of excel effortlessly but we now have the functionality in the web version of excel so let's see how to do this in excel for the web now, based on our data set, we have three columns, account manager, state, and the corresponding state abbreviation. Now, let's say, for instance, I want to calculate or want to search my account manager and the CAR in the name. I can actually come to the cell F1 and type in CAR. And in cell E2, for instance, I can use the search function or the find function. Now, the search function requires the find text. We want to find this text in cell f1 comma now within which text within the text in cell a2 control shift down to select the data set that would control backspace and to move back up so from a2 to a51 now comma the last argument for the search and even the find function is an optional argument which means we can actually skip that so i'm going to delete the comma and close the parenthesis now to tie the things up i'm going to use the if error function now the if error if there's an error i want nothing now nothing in excel simply means you use double quotation now control enter oh that's amazing now in row two we have to be callously okay and the car car is located in the position number six now when you scroll down we have another one here okay in row number 13 now let's move up so in this case i want for instance every name that is searched to return true and if not found i want false now in this case i'm going to use the is number function so i'm going to come after the equal sign and type in the is number and open the parenthesis so just close the parenthesis and we control enter now you can actually see that they callously returned true while others that do not satisfy this criteria does return first now let's type something else let's say i want to check for o w r n and click enter now you can actually see for instance in row number four we have william brown we have o w n so this returned true now we are actually getting to where we are going so i'm going to come back to the starting cell where the formula actually starts from all these are spill ranges okay the formula spilled to the neighboring rows at the bottom i'm going to come back to cell e2 f2 to open up the formula now in this case i'm going to throw in the filter dynamic array function now filter open parenthesis now put in a comma so for the array i want to return all of this control shift down arrow key control backspace to move back up and then come right time this close parenthesis now for the if empty if there is no record found i want to be displayed no record found okay no record found then close the double quote this is a string as we know then we can close this is and control enter so that's amazing now in this case we have william brown and sarah brown so these are the two account managers name that satisfy this search criteria so i'm going to come to the result sheet now in the result sheet we have the account manager and we have the state and the abbreviation now i'm going to come to cell a2 and click on data validation under the data tab of the ribbon so click on data validation and in the data validation we want a list so i'm going to select a list from this allow and for the source i'm going to come to this cell and let me just move this to the left and in this case i'm going to select the cell e2 now because i want not only the value in cell e2 i want all the value in that range i'm going to hold down my shift key and put in the pound sign so it's going to give me all the value in that array now very important i'm going to come to the error alert and uncheck show alert because that will not allow my criteria to be blocked okay so this has been phased out now click okay okay so 
I'm going to come here again. Now, what I'm going to do finally is I'm going to come to this cell, okay? And this argument, the find text, I'm going to come here to the result and link that to cell A2 of the result sheet. And that's all I need to do. Click OK. Okay, that's amazing. Now, this is not useful again. The value in cell F1. So you can actually delete this. All right, now let's test things out. So I'm going to come to the result sheet. And in the results, let's say I want to filter OWN. I'm going to click out and come back in, select this. Oh, that's amazing. William Brown and Sarah Brown. So I can actually select one of them. So this is working. Now, let's see. I want to delete this record. I want to set for CH. Click out, come back here, and click on the drop down, and we have all the names, the account managers that have CH in their name. So this is beautiful. So I can actually select any one of them, and this is working. Now, for the other one, I want the corresponding state and the state abbreviation to also be automatically looked up. So in this case, we can actually use the filter function, or we can use the VLOOKUP, the XLOOKUP or the index match but i'm going to use the xlookup function so equal sign xlookup now xlookup requires the lookup value so i'm going to look up this value comma within which of this lookup array so come to the data tab data sheet in this list in this array control shift down arrow key comma now for the return array i'm going to scroll up i want to return this tool that is the state and the abbreviation Control shift right arrow key, control down arrow key, and that's all. Comma now, if not found, I want no, no record to be displayed. Close the string and close the X lookup. Control enter, absolutely cool. So you can actually see that the result spilled to the neighboring column C. So this is working. Now, when I click on this, I can see Christiana van der Zanden. Now, let's say I want to search for, you know, another name that's not in the list. Let me use, you know, Trump. And I click on this. You can see that we have no record, no record found. So, we have no record. This is amazing. Now, let's check another name. Let's come here and let's say I want to search for PR. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to type in PR, click out, and come back here and click on this down that validation. So we have Nora Price. So this is cool. And when I click on that, we have the corresponding state of Wisconsin and WI. So this is essentially how we create searchable drop down in Excel for the web. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, comment, share and consider subscribing thank you and bye for now cheers